Welcome back. Today we're going to go over a new battery I picked up. Picked up an Ovonic, and this is a 2S LiPo, and it's a 52MAH 50C high discharge. Now, the reason why I picked this up is because is I was running with this little 2S LiPo here from Traxxas. That's only a 2200MAH, and it's a 25C LiPo. This is actually for my Mini E Revo, and I was running it in my granite here, and I was only getting four to five minutes of runtime. I know this has got a brush motor, so it's not going to run real long. So I picked this Ovonic up off of Amazon, and I wanted to try it out. This one should have a little bit more punch and power to it, and hopefully it'll last longer. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to take it out of the box and look at it, and then I'm going to charge it up, and then we're going to throw it in the granite, and we're going to take it out and we're gonna run it. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is brand new in the package. The only thing I did was cut the tape on it. And the first thing we got right on top, looks like our instructions right there. And then we're gonna look in here. Got a nice foam padding on the box. Don't look like we got any kind of sticker or anything. And there we got it as our new battery. It's got a nice little connector on there. I like this one. This one you can actually get a hold of better than the uh, Traxxas one. So that'll make it easier to plug in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this tape off. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on the charger. And before I throw it on the charger, I do want to show you. It does have a Dean's connector. And that's what I got on there. I was running um, that Traxxas battery and I had to buy an adapter to go from Traxxas to Dean. So this is going to be a real nice touch to keep this in the granite for its own battery because it's got a Dean's plug on the speed control. So let's go ahead and figure out what end I got to plug in here real quick. And we're going to go ahead and get this set. And we're going to let it charge up and after that we'll take it off the charger and we'll go take it outside and run it and we'll see how long the runtime is and if it's got any more power. Now that our battery is uh, showing charged here, go ahead and pop it out here and move the charger off to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the granite here. I'm going to try to get a little bit close here. Go ahead and pop the body off. I'm going to spin it around here because what I had to do, if you all remember, I only paid 40 bucks for this thing on uh, Facebook. It don't have the battery uh, flat pin down here. So what I did is I got a strap from my action camera. And I just use that to hold the battery tray up. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and throw this battery in there. Go ahead and run this up through the top. Alright, get this nice and tight, and then we'll go outside, and we'll run it. Let's go ahead and grab your controller and put the body back on, and let's get it. So now we're outside, and we're going to try out this Ovonic 5200 MAH battery. And basically what we're doing here is we're tracking runtime, and to see if it has any more power. I'm still running the stock armor br uh, brush engine in it. So let's go ahead and try it. Seems like it's got a little more get up and go. Like I showed you earlier in the video, I was running the uh, Traxxas 2200 mAh battery in this. And it was only lasting about four minutes. It didn't seem like it had much power. So I'm gonna do some of the stuff I did in that video videos that you've seen we'll rip some donuts here because that'll eat some battery life up seems like it's doing donuts pretty well go the other direction it does seem like it's got some more pep in it I'm glad of that that was one thing I was hoping for when new battery was some more pep I did uh, this week get a new roof put on my house 
and uh, I got some leftover wood from that. So I'm gonna be building me some ramps with uh, leftover wood so we can start jumping these things and having more fun with them. But of course I love doing donuts. Dirt track tires are getting some traction. I love that thing. Those tires are awesome. Try to get going straight here. Get out of the camera. There we go. Get back in the camera here. pretty good got the back end front end popping up I think I'm gonna mess with the shocks on this too I took some of the clips out it's not doing wheelies or nothing seems like it's getting some good traction oh well, we're at the three minute mark and we're still going pretty good here Let's see if we can hit that four or five minute mark or beyond if we do that I'll be happy if not I think I'm pretty much happy it would be happy because right now I do have more power so I'm a little happy with that I always like getting stuff off of Amazon trying it out and I found a bunch of RC parts stuff on there so I'm just itching to start getting some more stuff to try out for you guys to do videos on. I think the next thing I'm going to do to this is one of the pins is actually uh, messed up in the front A-arm. Somebody just put a screw in it and I did just get the pin in the mail. But I wanted to get this battery video done first. We'll do that and then uh, maybe uh, next month I'll pick up a brushless bat uh, motor sorry, and put it in here. And we'll see if we can make this thing rip with a brushless motor off of Amazon. Still kicking up rocks. Well, we just passed the four minute mark and we're still going. So we're going to see how long this battery will go. So it seems to be going pretty good here. five minute mark so as of right now we got the other battery beat so I'm really happy about that I just keep seeing how long it goes Let's see if I can keep this in camera angle try to rip some more donuts here Oop, it's lifting that day arm up we'll try to do them the other way the right front day arm is the one that's got that screw in it there we go. Now we got some going on. Since I don't have jumps or anything, it seems like my favorite thing to do is donuts. My boy Kelby, you watch some videos with him when he comes out here. He can rip some mean donuts. Mostly with the little mini Eurevo. Well, we're just past uh, six minutes here. So I am so glad of that. And a lot more playtime 
You can tell it is slowing down though now, but it's still going. Find out here when we hit cutoff. Yep, he's starting to slow down here. So far though, with this battery, I am pretty impressed with it. It's doing a lot better than that Traxxas one was. Those Traxxas ones do good in the midi Evo, but it wasn't working out too good for this with a brush motor. All right, we just hit seven minutes. So we're probably, I'm going to say, since it's double the MAHs, we're going to get double the runtime out of this. Which is a great thing for when you're having fun and bashing around. More runtime's always better. This thing has been a total blast since I got everything figured out on it. It's come a long way since the $40 I paid for it on Facebook. And I've learned a lot with it and that's what it's all about. Well, we just passed the eight minute mark. And we're still going. It's going to be a long video. Usually I don't even do a full run on the E-Revo because I don't like doing real long videos. I know a lot of people get bored real quick with them. I like to keep my videos around under 10 minutes or less. Every time I think this thing is starting to slow down, it keeps going. screen here. This will wear the battery down a little bit more. We are past the nine minute mark. I am so happy with this battery. This battery is working out pretty dang good. Well, we are past the 10 minute mark. And it's still going pretty good. I like trying to get at the fishtail. There we go. Tell you one thing, run this long, I can already see that motor is smoking. I don't know if you can see that from here. I'll try to go in, but I think I might end up cutting this video short just because that engine is smoking bad. I don't have a heat sink or nothing on it, so it's getting pretty hot. So we're actually at the 11 minute mark. 
and I think I'm going to cut this short just because I want to keep that motor from burning up. So, let's talk about this battery. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. This battery has gone over double the runtime of the battery I had in it, which has made me very happy. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave a link down below to uh, Amazon where I picked this up. So you can just click that link if you want to pick this battery up. And yeah, I'm going to stop that motor smoking bad. And I really do. I give it a thumbs up. Great and great battery. Go ahead and pick you one up. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.